Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have day five of haul week and today I'm going to talk about all of my clothing that I've purchased. I have my bags down below. I am very petite. I'm only five foot one and I have gained a little bit of weight. So I do weigh 100 and around 145 pounds. So yeah, I wear typically a size 8 to 10 UK and at the top and a 10 to 12 on my bottom so a medium overall and sometimes a large on my bottoms because I do have some juicy thick thighs so if you guys are interested in more hauls these kind of contents check out the playlist down below check out my channel don't forget to like and subscribe and yeah let's get into it so today I'm just going to talk about Zara and Stradivarius and maybe a little bit of random stuff here and there and then I'm going to have a part two of my clothing haul tomorrow as well just because there's a lot of them and I don't think I can get through it today. Alright so for the first haul I did pop into Zara a few weeks ago. This was like right before the sale started so I might go there in the next few days but I'm not sure when I'll have the time. So the first thing I got from Zara is a nude tank top. I did need some more like nude pieces in my wardrobe especially tank tops. I feel like I don't have that many that I really like the look of. Just for layering pieces, I do have some, but not uh, ones that I can just wear by itself and like maybe something off the shoulder. So this is the first one I got and it's in this really nice color. I got it in a size medium to large, so it's a Mexican 28 to 30. I think there's only two sizes. It's a small, X small to small and a medium to large and I got the bigger size just you know, to give myself some more room to grow into, I guess. I did also get this sweatpants from Zara. I absolutely love it. I love the color. It's like this sage green color. And I love how it's cuffed at the bottom. I also got this in a size medium. I'm obsessed with this. It fits me so well, especially for me having thick thighs. Everything's just too tight on the thighs for me. But this actually works really well for me. And I love pairing it with this. I haven't worn this one yet, but I did wear this to the desert camping trip I went to a few days ago with my husband and I absolutely loved it. It was so comfortable. It was very comfortable to sleep in, to just hike in, go everywhere in, you know, it was very, very comfortable. And I am going to pop in and I am actually going to pop in and get a few more of these, like a few more colors because my sweatpants are... <sighs> in such bad shape that I need to replace all of them and just live in these Zara sweatpants in my opinion. All right, next up, I did actually pop into Stradivarius as well and I bought a few pieces. The first thing that I bought was this flannel. I know like flannels are back in fashion. I actually got rid of the last flannel I got last year and I had that for the longest time. I think I had that for like six, seven years and then it looked very outdated so I got rid of it and then like once I got rid of it I missed it so much and this year it's back in fashion like why do I even try to be on fashion because fashion just goes and comes back around you know it's just a never-ending cycle but I got this in this green <sighs> color it's absolutely gorgeous I love how it's kind of neutral and not like that red deep red color or you can just have it off the shoulder I love wearing these kind of stuff off the shoulder, especially if you have a top underneath. It looks absolutely gorgeous and it fits so well. Like I said, I am five foot one, so I am on the shorter side, so it does actually fit <laughs> kind of small. It's not oversized or anything. I think I'm gonna try to find something similar, but in a more loose fit. So it would be a bit longer also, and it would be a bit more baggier. Just in case I want to layer it, I did actually layer this with a black sweater uh, on top of it and it looked absolutely adorable with my round uh, blue light glasses and I feel like it's such a like Harry Potter academia kind of vibe and I absolutely loved it that way. So this is definitely my favorite purchase of the season and I did actually buy a few more stuff from Stradivarius, a little bit out of my comfort zone but they were kind of items that I have been looking for. Um, recently and I finally decided to pick two up so let me guys so let me show you guys what they were all right so the first 
I got two pairs of skirt. The first one was this leather skirt from Stradivarius. I don't know how well you'll be able to see, but that is the back side. This is the front side. Oh, nope. This is what it looks like. It has some ruching on the side. It's absolutely gorgeous. I will try this on for you guys. And I really like the length for me. I can wear it high-waisted and it would still be like over my knee. And like I said, I am pretty short. So this fits me perfectly. But if you are taller than me, like 5'4 and above, it might be a little bit too short for you guys. I don't know, you might be comfortable with that, but this is as comfortable as I can get going outside. But I did really want to pick this up. I got this in a size, let me see. It's a size UK 10 or US 6. So it's around a size medium. Absolutely love this. It's so stinking cute. It looks so big this way, but it actually fits me pretty well. And there's no more room to grow, so I really need to wash my figure, but I absolutely love this. And I really like how it's leather because I've never had a leather, leather skirt or pants or anything. I've just had a leather jacket, which I do need to grab also. I did also pick up this other skirt, which has quite a bit of stretch to it. It's just a normal stretchy material with a little bit of a slip down the bottom. I mean, I grabbed this just because I thought it would work throughout the year. Like it's not specific to autumn or winter like the leather and I really like the fit and the slit that it had on the side. It is very form fitting. It also like, it, it fits me really well. This is also in a size, let me see. I think I got this in the same size. Yes, it's a medium and hopefully I will get some pretty good wear out of them. I bought this like two months ago and I still haven't worn them. So yeah, that was the second skirt that I got from Stardivarius crop top. Like I said, I need a lot more basic crop tops or tops in general that look kind of cute on its own. So I decided to go with this white one. This is what it looks like. It just has a opening at the bottom under your boob. Pretty cute, nothing special about it. It is kind of like a thinner material. So everything does show a little bit. I don't mind it. It's in a size UK medium. You guys will see from the try and clips I am standing right in front of the window. You guys can see like the reflection on my um, closet, but it does show. But like I said, when I'm on vacation, I really don't care. The next thing I picked up just because of the hype, I don't really know why I bought it because I never wear it, is this bucket hat. This is also in a size medium because I do have a bigger head. But this is so cute. It's in this tweed material and it's faux leather on the inside. I absolutely love this. This isn't a vibe. I don't know what is. I love it. I think with the leather skirt, it would look really amazing and really cute. And it's such a vibe. Bucket hats. I don't know. I really want to go outside so I can wear these stuff. So the last piece that I got from Stradivarius is actually this really baggy white top or t-shirt material. I don't know how to describe this. I have worn this to the beach once as a beach cover-up and I absolutely love this. It is quite thin and very, very, um, just, I don't know, breathable material. I really like this. It's pretty long, even for me. And I think it would be a nice uh, longer under the butt kind of uh, size for people that are lo uh, longer than me. This is a size small because it was a baggy fit. I decided to just go with a uh, with a size small. I really like the fit of it. I think it would look as great as a beach cover up or even just like an open kind of thing with a nice uh, top and leather skirt. Like just tuck it in on one side with a tweed. Um, bucket hat i think that would look really cute as well and some boots i don't know there's so many different ways you can style this or this on its own with a vest on top and like some boots also with nothing underneath like i said it's pretty long enough that you just need to wear some biker short shorts and i think that this is such a versatile thing and everyone needs this kind of like baggy styled uh shirt in their wardrobe in my opinion so yeah i did also get a couple of jewelry i got this like five piece ring set Ugh, the glare just doesn't show it let me just take it out of its packaging it's just perfect for layering you guys can see 
I cut my nails off last night. You can wear it either as a knuckle ring or just as a ring ring and it's just like plain with some ribbing on top. Plain gold, uh, fake gold obviously. It's not gonna last long but I bought it because it's just perfect for layering and I always love wearing multiple rings on each hand. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous and I did also get this layering necklace. I'm just do it this way. It is absolutely beautiful. I can't wear to I can't wait to wear this. I feel like it just goes with everything and the I like buying these cheaper cheaper um you know, these cheaper jewelry. This was only 8 bucks, but I think it looks so much more expensive and it adds so much more glam to your outfits and I love wearing these all the time until the co uh, color goes off and I need to get rid of it and buy a new pair. I'm kind of sad I didn't buy two but it's okay. I mean having it sit in my collection also doesn't really help because it does tarnish really easily. So this is another purchase that I was very excited about. Alright guys, I know this is extremely extremely random but I did also get some uh, leggings for working out just because the ones that I have are all in size smalls and x smalls and they just don't fit me at all. I mean they I can get them up but they just write down because my ass is too big right now so I definitely needed a bigger sizing. I got everything in a size medium. Let me just show it to you guys real quick. I might not even do a oops I mean I even do a try on but we'll see. So this I got from the brand Tough Athletics, it is a Canadian brand. I got it from Canada in a size small. I love how stretchy these are and the quality is amazing. It is super high-waisted. I love my gym, gym leggings to be super high-waisted. It is just a basic legging in black and I absolutely love it. It's, it fits me amazing. It's very breathable and because I do a lot of squats at the gym, haven't been there in a year, but since I've been doing a, I, since I do a lot of squats in my routine, I do need something that's very high waisted that doesn't roll down. So I got a pair of black ones, and then I did also get a gray one uh, from Mondetta. This is in the size medium as well. So these are also very high waisted. They do have pockets on the side just in case you want to put your phone in there or anything. If I'm out for a run, which I don't go for runs, but I like walking more than running. I just do not have the stamina for running. I never was a runner, even when I was an athlete back in the days. So um, yeah, this is what it looks like. It has these kind of like basic gray um, athletic wear and I absolutely love it. It has some mesh at the bottom also. I think it's super cute, super comfortable. I really like the quality of it. It feels very nice. So I got an a third pair also just in case I need to get rid of more I might actually buy a few more um, also this is from Mondetta it's in the same um, style as the previous gray one but it's just in the black so it does have the mesh at the bottom as well super comfortable I'm obsessed I love gym leggings they just feel very very comfortable to wear even around the house or when you're traveling. I love wearing them when I'm traveling and I have like a full day outside of like hiking and um, canoeing or anything that just requires me to be outdoors and not in the water. I love wearing my gym stuff because comfort over anything else. That is my motto. Who cares if you're fashionable if you don't look comfortable in what you're wearing, you know? So um these are the stuff that i wanted to show you guys today i have a lot more that is on my rack <laughs> these are just everything that was in the plastic bags and i just wanted to get rid of the well they're paper bags i wanted to get rid of the bags and wash everything and put them back into my closet so i can start wearing them but i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe check out the rest of my um haul that i've been doing down below the past few days i've been doing multiple hauls i've done a shoe haul i've done a bag haul a sephora haul and this is my part one of my clothing haul so tomorrow we're gonna have part two and then we're gonna have a grand finale where i unbox a very special gift that my father gave me it is a very uh expensive gift as well 
uh it's not meant to be braggy but it's just something that made me very happy and i wanted to share and it is my first luxury item so i did want to share it with you guys also and yeah i don't know i just like unboxings and like seeing what people get themselves and what they get others and what others give them so i hope you guys had an amazing christmas I hope you're gonna have a, a very good new year and celebrating with your lo loved ones that are around you. And if not, then I hope you guys will have a great day and night and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!